hey guys welcome back to another video so today's video guys let me see this is a little bit bright so guys today's video is going to be my long awaited probably not it's probably not long awaited nobody gives a fuck <laughs> today's video is going to be my fragrance video i have everything i'm going to be talking about in my phone like receipts prices recommendations for perfumes um you know what to get what to not get what's hype what's what's hype for no reason what's hype for a reason um all that jazz is going to be in this video so if that's something you're interested in if you want to amp your smell get that signature smell that's sexy and seductive you know stay tuned for this video i hope you guys enjoy and yeah we love that <laughs> okay let's get so this video i'm gonna start with my the fragrances i don't have okay guys i just started i just started i literally began to like i began to like fragrances in december when my good up sis rahel gave me a present it was a hermes mini set of perfumes and i've since then i'm like i want to smell good like i want to walk into a room and not smell like body mist from victoria's secret even though i never wore that i always kind of wore what i never even wore victoria's secret body mist or like bath and body Bath and Body Works um, body mist and it was because like not because I'm too good for it but because I just never had it and I never went to the store to buy it I think I bought from from Lacenza one time and it smelled good you know I wasn't thinking too much of it I was never a fragrance person like I don't care about how I smell I mean I do care but like as long as I smell good like I never really care like I just have my deodorant on sometimes I never wore perfume like I had a naturally normal like normal scent like if there's if there's body mist there i will spray the fuck out of it but like i was never too crazy about it so it's like yeah i never even owned all those victoria's secret body mist stuff like i never smelled like that i never had a scent that i wanted to smell like you know what i mean like just i'm more aware of i'm more aware of it now i'm like okay i want to smell better i want to smell not better i want to smell a certain way i want to i want to and i want to attract you know something okay so that's basically it um yeah <laughs> oh yeah so yeah my friend got me the Hermes set for Christmas and ever since then I've been so obsessed with it I wore the twilly let me talk about it I wore it every single day and I'm like okay and there are many sets they're not finishing anytime soon but like I want more you know what I mean like I wanted more so then I just did but I didn't know where to start I'm like okay where do I start because I obviously want luxury perfumes because the Hermes just put me on so much that I wanted luxury perfumes. But it's like, the luxury perfumes I was seeing everywhere was the Tom Ford. And that was $400. And I'm like, I almost did. I was this close to buying it. But I'm like, I'm a starter. Like, how am I going to start with this? Like, and what if it turns me off? I'm just going to be completely turned off. You know, $400? Baby one day in summertime we were just shopping and um we went into i believe it was north it was halt renfrew it was halt renfrew or nordstrom and there goes the beautiful tom ford and when i say i kept seeing that shit everyone on youtube ev it took, like everybody was recommending it me so many of my friends went in we weren't going in for that obviously but then i see it then i'm like oh i want to smell it like i want to smell it i smelled the tom ford lost cherry and the other one i don't know if it was a mont blanc or like or or dry i don't know i don't know i smelled two of them the lost cherry smelled like dried up ass crack or like like leftover chicken leftover like it smelled so ass like that's it smelled ass it smelled like ass that's what it smelled like it smelled like ass and i'm like i'm gonna put a picture of what i'm talking about like the lost cherry the deep fragrance for that is the black cherry tonka bean and almond when i tell you it doesn't smell like this it's supposed to be warm and spicy no it doesn't smell like that so if you like that kind of like dingy ass like different like type of smell then i would recommend that but like if you want to just smell cute no baby no baby this is not for everybody and then the other um tom ford one i don't remember the name or the oh it was bitter peach bitter peach is the one that smells like ass Lost cherry smells like, like, um, 
Lost Cherry smells like almost the ass, but then Bitter Peach is like the whole ass. That's what it is. Yeah, the Bitter Peach is Turkish Rose, Bulgarian Rose, and coffee. So it's like, no. No, that smells like ass. And then the Bitter, and then the, um, the Lost Cherry smells like wannabe ass, but then the Bitter Peach smells like ass. Okay, we're done with the ass talk, okay? So those two that have been hyped up to the gods, I've smelled them and I don't like them. Okay, so that's just what I wanted to say about that for people that wanted to get it. I'm going to cut this down so I'm not talking that much, but like, yeah. So these are the two, the top three fragrances that I do want. I want one of the Tom Ford fragrances, not those two. Either the Soleil Blanc one or like the really black bottle one. I'm going to try and smell both of them to see because I literally need to smell it. Every other perfume I have here, I never smelled it before getting it, but I just trusted it. But the Tom Ford, ever since those two scarred me, I need to smell it. But I do want one of the Tom Fords. I want the Baccarat because they say the Baccarat smells like the Ariana Grande Cloud and I have the Cloud one and it smells so good. So if the Baccarat smells like that, I'm getting that shit. It's expensive, but I'm getting that shit. And the third one I want is the Bon No 9 New York. Um, I want to find the exact bottle I want. The exact bottle I want that I keep seeing everywhere is the Green Witch Village. This one. I'm going to put a picture of it beside. But y'all... Let me find the tones for this. It's like a jasmine, jasmine petals, mandarin, peach musk, vanilla, oak musk. And oak musk is really, really good. And then the vanilla with that, y'all, that's going to smell so good. It is really expensive. It is really expensive. I think it's like, it's $405. I think that's Canadian or USD. $405. But I think it's a really big bottle. I think it's a little bit bigger than the 3.4 ounce. I don't know if there's a smaller. That's the bottle they have. That's the only bottle they have for this one. I really, really want this one. But $405. Wish list. Someone's going to get it for me. Because I'm not getting it myself. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Okay. So, yeah. That's what I want for fragrances. Now, let's get into my fragrances that I do have. And let's talk a little bit about. First one I want to show you guys is like the most inexpensive fragrance I have in my collection that is like literally this much is left of it. It's from American Eagle. It's called, this is Cloud Kiss. You can't find this anywhere. Maybe on eBay, maybe on eBay. So it's like I'm literally savoring the little bit that's left. I'm trying to make it last a lifetime. I have never smelled anything like this before. I have never smelled anything like this before. I don't even know the notes of this like I can't find this perfume anywhere I got it like two years ago and I've been salvering it let me try to explain what this smells like I do smell some coffee in this and you, that's, and you guys see how black it is it's definitely some type of coffee bean um it's such a false smell oh my god it kind of smells like the replica Yo, I smell some almonds too. This smells so good, guys. And if you're trying to get into perfumes, you don't know where to start. First of all, it's the, it's called Ouda Parfum. Like, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. They're called Ouda Parfum. Ouda Parfum. Ouda Parfum. I don't know. I'm going to put a name right there. If you're trying to get into perfumes, guys, start with little stores like Zara. You know, all these stores around your mall. And get like your cheap perfumes like $20, $24. And then you can kind of know what type of scent you like. That was like my starter perfume. That like I never really thought much about it. But that's the kind of smell I like. Like I was literally walking and then this lady stopped me like, girl, what are you wearing? I'm like, American Eagle. Like, I'm like, American. Like, she's like, American Eagle? She's like, American Eagle? I'm like, yeah, American Eagle. It's an American Eagle. Like she was probably expecting me to say some big up, big up brand. But like, start with those type of stores. Know the scents you like. And then when you get a luxury perfume, it's just going to be that. But like, times 10. Let me get into my Hermes. So like I said, it was a gift set. So it has all these different perfumes in here. This is the kicker, guys. The Twilly. The Twilly right here, y'all, this is the kicker. I'm going to find you guys the notes for this. These three I never really wear, They, but they all smell kind of the same and very basic. So the main one I'm going to be talking about is the Twilly because if you want to get into perfumes, that's also a very good scent, okay? So let me talk about the notes on the Twilly perfume. 
and I'm gonna get the bigger bottle for that one. That's the only Hermes bottle, only Hermes fragrance I'm gonna get the bigger bottle from because it is so good. It's the big bottle, while the 50 millimeter is 114, the 30 millimeter is $80. And the 30 millimeter is gonna be as big as like my um, YSL perfume that I'm gonna show you guys, so it's like that's not bad at all. Um, let me get the notes for this. So it's basically sandalwood, ginger, and tuberose. That is ginger on a perfume. Do you know how sexy that is? That Twilly perfume I usually wear for every day. Like I literally wear it for everyday perfume, whether it's like the um, daytime or nighttime. Do you know why? It lasts from morning to night. I could pop, I could take a shower and I still fucking smell it on my skin. That shit, I'm saying it so aggressively because that's how serious it is. That perfume lasts from morning to night. If you want longevity, guys, that perfume right there is longevity. Longevity, okay? Run over and get you some because it's in Hudson Bay and it's 80 bucks for 30 millimeter bottle. The biggest bottle is 85 millimeter, which is a little bit smaller than a 3.4 ounce, but that's 157. That's not bad at all. Imagine paying 400 for Tom Ford and it smells like ass crack compared to 200 for a big bottle of Twilly and it smells like roses and ginger. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. Like, so good. That's my second favorite. My second favorite perfume, guys, is the Mason Margiela Replica. And I got this in Autumn, autumn Vibes. The key notes for this is red berries, cardamom, cedarwood, moss. So this is like a very, it says gathering on an autumn day. And that's exactly what this is. Like on a firewood, obviously I don't have firewood. But like firewood and like, you know, when the, when the, the leaves are falling and like maybe Halloween. And like this is, like this is fall guys. Mm hmm this is fall like I never expected it to smell so good I wanted to get the coffee scent but I'm so happy I got autumn vibes y'all this is so good it's so let me try and describe the smell I'm not a perfume expert I know there's a job for this I'm not so I'm literally explaining it the best I could let me just spray this on my hand right now I never expected it to smell so good a lot of my perfumes smell alike, but this smells really different. That's why I really like it. Okay, so it smells like wood. That's what it smells like. It smells like wood and leaves. It smells like wood and leaves, and which kind of doesn't sound appealing, but when I tell you, it's so appealing. So I would wear this definitely on fall. I'm not going to start wearing it now. Actually, I might because I do wear my ebony wood one, and it smells kind of similar if you're trying to figure out... So if you want a cheaper one for this, because this was $72. Yeah, this is $72 for this really small bottle. I know. The bigger bottle is $166. So if you want something similar to this but half the price, I'm going to recommend that in the video as well that I do have. It smells very similar. But, you know, I'm definitely going to wear this around fall because that's what it's for. And it just smells so so amazing guys like you guys don't even understand how good this smells and I just want you to smell it so bad it smells so good so if you want something that smells very folly I recommend that like I said something similar to the replica autumn vibes is the ebony wood you guys can't see it at all but it's the ebony wood Je Malone because Je Malone collabed with Zara to create this perfume so ebony wood and this is the 3.4 ounce. You guys seen most of these in my collective haul, but I'm just going to be like talking more about them in this video. So it smells very similar to the replica autumn vibes. The notes actually, yeah, it smells. It smells similar, but this one, this one, the replica is more strong. But this one is more soft not and both and that doesn't mean that one lasts longer than the other one i haven't worn the replica one to know whether it lasts all day i sprayed it this morning and took a shower and it's still on my skin so but then again i have so much perfume on my skin right now like a lot so but yeah the ebony one i have one all day the longevity is not all day it's maybe like a it's like half a day or like six hours like you definitely still smell it on your skin till the end of the day but not like 
not like the way it smelled when you first put it on but it it matches like if you just smell it like this it, it kind of smells like a little bit like like fart but once you put it on your skin it just and you rub like you can rub it in y'all it smells on the skin it smells so good it smells like the notes y'all i keep looking up these notes like i'm so tired the notes is pink pepper clove and ebony wood basically if you know what ebony wood smells like it's basically like that it's like a very soft woody smell um it's 49.99 49.90 canadian which is like 50 bucks so it's a little bit cheaper than the replica for 72 with the small bottle this is a big bottle they do have a small bottle for um 29.90 29.90 so but i got the big bottle i don't know if this yeah, they do have a small bottle for $29.90. But yeah, I got the big bottle and I'm really happy about that because it's not much of a price difference. And it smells really good. Like, this is probably my favorite perfume right now. Actually, no. The Arna Grande Cloud is my favorite and this is my second favorite. It smells so good, guys. I really, really, really recommend it. Like, really recommend it. That perfume is something I would wear every day of the week. Literally every single day. Like, I wouldn't save it for, like, the nighttime or... Or the morning time it's something I would wear like any day like I wear it to work I've been wearing it since I got it and it's like yeah some perfumes are strictly for nighttime like the Libre the Libre from YSL I would wear it only at night because it is very like a nighttime outing like not just like only at night but like when I know I'm going for like an outing that I will end up staying like till midnight is where i would wear the libre because it's a very sexy smell if you want to like um captivate people the libre is what you go for because it is really really strong yeah the libre is like really really strong it's like the elite of like this type of smell this smell repeats in mostly all the perfumes i have if that makes sense but it's like the elite of them i'm gonna check the notes of it because I know for a fact it probably most likely um, shares the same notes as a lot of the other perfumes I have because they all kind of smell the same. So this is $85 for this little bottle. I did get it when I had a sale on the 5s. There's no sale again right now. The 30mm is $85, the bigger bottle is $130, the bigger bottle is $174, and the biggest bottle is $198. So I got the 30 millimeter, the 10 millimeter is 38, but I did not want the 10 millimeter. The key notes for this is, um, there's a lot: Mandarin oil, um, lavender France oil, black currant accord, lavender oil. I do smell the lavender a lot. Jasmine, um, vanilla extract, cedarwood oil, um. There's a lot of notes in this that make it smell the way it does, but I think the key one, they said it was mandarin oil, but I think the key note is definitely lavender. I smell lavender a lot in this, and I'm pretty sure lavender is going to repeat in like the Miss Dior, for example, and the Black Opium, and the Carol and Harry, and like... I'm pretty sure Matt, um, lavender is going to repeat in all of them because that's what it smells like and that's what a lot of perfumes smell like. And I, I call that the old lady smell. Like not old lady like dirty, like old lady like, you know, the bougie old ladies you see, they all kind of smell like this. Like even my mother kind of. And she doesn't wear this. But like, you know, yeah. Next perfume I'm going to show you guys is the Miss Dior. So the Miss Dior is by Dior, obviously, and you know, it has like the little like CD at the top. It's very cute packaging. Um, this is the Silky Body Mist, so it's not Eau de Parfum. It's not the Eau de Parfum, it's the Silky Body Mist, but you know, who even knew there's a difference with these shits? Who even knew? Um, there's also Eau de Toilette. I don't know this one is $72 I believe um let me check because I got them from Sephora so it's like I don't know if I paid something different yeah they're $72 so the key notes for this one I, I promise it has to have lavender 
It doesn't. Okay, it has mandarin essence, which is similar. See, it's similar to the other one. Libra it has mandarin oil. It also has Egyptian jasmine essence. Libra has jasmine oil. And it has Indonesian um, patrical essence. So yeah, it smells very similar to the Libre but more toned down. The Libre has a lot of stuff that kind of amp it up a little bit and it's definitely worth the hype. The Mr. Dior just smells so basic guys. The Mr. Dior smells so basic. It says it's a floral and romantic style so yeah I'll definitely wear this on like a date night or something like in the day. It's not giving me a fall smell. It's giving me like a day smell. Like for brunch. Yeah and the bottle definitely matches you see how like it's so light and like the Libre bottle is kind of like dark like the packaging was even dark and that's like yeah that's for date night this is for this is like the same smell but like for morning and that's the like the for date night if that makes sense this is for like date day date night I get it I get it these these brands be collabing because it smells very similar this is a 3.4 ounce so it's definitely worth the price because it's not small like the, the Libre is 85 for a 1.7 ounce. This is a 3.4 ounce for a 72. So definitely, definitely worth the price. And then the replica is 72 for a 1.7 ounce. That's so tiny. So yeah, that's another thing you got to um, keep in mind. Like if you're starting your perfume collection, I would be getting stuff that even though it's a little bit expensive, if it's expensive for a bigger bottle, it makes more sense. Next thing I want to show you guys is my favorite perfume at this moment. It's the Ariana Grande Cloud. And y'all, I don't even like Ariana Grande. She's probably my top three least favorite artists in the world. And when I tell you, this perfume might have redeemed her because it smells so good. Like, I wish the packages kind of told you the notes because having to search it up is annoying. I got this from Shoppers Drug Mart. There's a lot of fake sites selling it. So, I know Shoppers Drug Mart is like trustworthy. By the way, this is the 1.7 ounce and it is $66. I don't think she has any more sizes. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, yeah. I don't think her notes are going to be similar to like other fragrances with your notes. So, the top notes are lavender. Hmm. I don't smell lavender. It's lavender pure. I do smell the pure. Um, bergamot, mm -hmm, I definitely smell that. And some whipped cream, yes baby, because I was going to talk about that. Whipped cream, perlin, coconut, vanilla, and um, musk and woody notes. I don't smell the musk or the woody, but I smell the vanilla and the cloud. Wait, what was that? I smell the vanilla. What was the other thing? Whipped cream, yeah. I smell the vanilla, I smell the whipped cream, I smell... That's like the main thing I smell. When you don't spray it, I do smell the wood, but when I spray it on my skin, all I smell is sweet. When I spray it on my skin, like the, and it rubs in, it smells so sweet. Okay, I do smell the lavender now. It smells so sweet, and like, my skin is mixed with so much perfumes right now, so like, I'm very bad right now at like, explaining it, because I sprayed so much to do this video, but... It smells really, really sweet. Like, definitely I smell the whipped cream. I smell the, um, lavender. I smell the, like, sweetness of it. Like, they should have said candy, but obviously they're trying to be specific. It literally smells like candy. I would not wear this for a date night because of how sweet it is. It's giving very much, um, girl, like, not girl. It's giving very much if I wore this on a date night. It's not giving bad bitch if you're trying to be bad bitch. It's also not giving grown grown lady it's giving like soft and sweet so i would wear this on like a chill day maybe if i was gonna go grab ice cream maybe if i was gonna go to like an amusement park like something fun you know so i could smell sweet that's where i would wear this too yeah, i explained that so well i explained that so well the next one i want to show you guys is the good girl by carolina Hera. let me just pull up the notes This one was 122 because, yeah, and it's the 1.7 ounce for $122. So it's the most expensive perfume in my collection and also smells very, very basic. It has tuberose, jasmine, and tonka beans. Again, jasmine, tonka, we have heard these before, right? Exactly. Libre, Miss Dior. That's what it smells like. It smells like the Libre, the Miss Dior, and yeah. 
and the black opium which i don't have i have the tester for it i'm going to talk about the testers i have in a second but yeah this is how it looks i love i literally got this for the bottle and it's just something you should have in your collection if you want to become a perfume maniac like me so yeah i definitely got this for the bottle this it's just not very practical like who is going to be holding my skin like it's like it's not a very practical perfume it smells very very basic but also very very good like it smells like the Miss Dior and the Libre literally like nothing like this is date night as well but I would mix this with the Libre because of how similar it smells and just so I can get a longer lasting smell because this by itself is not as strong as the Libre but yeah again date night simple perfume um the hype for this was definitely not warranted and not needed because it's very basic again old lady smell that's what i think about it um if you disagree you know that's cool but yeah and 122 for that bottle that's 1.7 ounce not even 3.4 and it's basic i'm not here for it okay so now let's talk about testers guys because your girl has a lot your girl has a lot of testers. There's something called the Libre. That's the Eau de Perfume. This one is the Eau de Toilette. I don't know why it's called that. But this one is definitely like the Libre. But so much stronger. And I actually really like it. Like I would recommend this one more than the Eau de Perfume. I don't know the difference with the like toilette perfume and perfume like i don't know the difference but the toilette is so much stronger i hope that's how you say it toilette or the toilette like, i'm not too sure but yeah it's so much stronger than like the regular one and it's just better the black opium is also stronger than the libres combined but again very similar to like good good girl uh, miss dior like all of that it's very very similar so I'm still gonna get it because like it's a nice um, perfume to have in your collection but it's just very similar to everything else and I think it's like the same price $72 for a 1.7 ounce so no I think it's $85 for a 1.7 ounce so it's by, it's by YSL as well nothing much it's not giving me anything different like the Grand Arna Grande and the Replica and the Ebony Wood are all very similar different you know even though the replica smells like the ebony wood but in a different way if that makes sense so those three i really like the other ones just smell so similar to each other um at the baccarat obviously it's gonna smell like the cloud by Ana grande but i just really think the baccarat's gonna have a little more of an edgy to it so that's why i want it and the nyc one is gonna smell sweet so that's why i want it as well and then these other ones i have the valentino born in roma yellow dream I never heard about this perfume, but I seen the tester was available for me to grab, so I obviously grabbed it. Um, let me spray it again because I forgot how it smelled like. Y'all see how I have everything? Okay, so this smells like every other perfume. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know what it is. With, I don't know if my nose is a little bit blocked. But it smells like the Libre. Like, it's just the Libre was definitely the stepping stone for all of these other perfumes because they all smell the same. Let me smell this one. This is the Angel Nova, the Mogler ou de Perfume. I love this one. Oh my god, I'm gonna get the big bottle. I love this one. This one is sweet. This one doesn't smell like anything else. This one is sweet. What is the tones for this? It's a fruity, floral, woody. Okay. From this video, I think you guys know it's a new fragrance. From this video, I think you guys know what my style is. I think my style for perfume is definitely fruity, woody, and sweet. I don't like the lavender. I mean, I like the lavender, but like they just smell all they all smell the same. The lavender, tonka, and um what was the other tones for the other ones? Lavender, tonka, jasmine, and mandarin. All those tones mixed together smell so similar, but the fruity, woody, musk, oak, you know, those type of smells, I really love it. Like, I love how sweet and woody they smell. Sweet and woody is such a good mix together, okay? 
Um, and then the Twilly just smells completely different from all of them. And I love the Twilly. And it lasts forever. So, yeah. This video was extremely long, guys. Extremely long. But if you're new to perfumes, I hope, 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 hope this kind of gives you an idea of what you want to smell like. Do you want to smell fruity and sweet? Or do you want to smell sexy and, um, yeah. Lavender is just sexy. Lavender and jasmine, mandarin, those are all sexy smells. So it's like you either have the fruity sweet smell or like the lavender sexy. So it really depends how you want to smell. And then the, you have the twilly in the middle that doesn't smell like any of them. The twilly just smells like its own thing. That's why that's my favorite perfume of all time. Yeah, definitely my favorite perfume of all time. The Ana Grande one is like my newly favorite perfume, but like that's my favorite perfume of all time. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what other videos you want to film. I never thought I would be doing a perfume video, guys. I never thought I would. But, like, I became an addict for perfumes. And, like, I have so much right now. And it's only going to get bigger because I'm crazy. So, yeah. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.